Hello guys, I want to introduce to you my tool, which is Gorilla Mix. You know how uh, there's QP, QP Admixture, there's Admix 1, there's Admix 2. Well, there's also Gorilla Mix, and it does basically the same thing as what QP Admixture and the rest do. Uh, it's just much simpler, easier to run. It's an executable, which anybody, a Gorilla, can figure out how to use it, how to use my tool. So, uh, And I wrote it myself in C++. Um, today. Actually, I finished it today. Uh, there's still probably going to be changes. I'm still probably going to make some quirky uh, changes to change it up a little bit, but I'm going to show you how it works. Let's run my Gorilla Mix 2023. So here I have the K36.36 .36 file, uh, which contains the allele frequencies for K36 populations in Eurogenes 36. You need to have a file like this for my tool to work. It does not work if you don't have a file. You can't just model things with nothing. You need to have some sort of a file to work with. So first, let me show you the freeway admixture, which is what I started with. Enter file name k36.36.36. .f. So the population I want to model is going to be, uh, let's use some population like East Central Euro. And I'm going to model it as a mixture of Eastern Euro and a Scandian, and um, I don't know, let's put like South Chinese 32, something really crazy. So it's going to print out a Euclidean distance for all of these three populations from the, from the source, I mean from the target population. The Euclidean distance is calculated using the Euclidean method. It's going to be a crazy high number. Uh, don't be scared when you see it. Of course, when you have a when you have um, thousands of SNPs and you calculate the Euclidean distance based on the allele frequencies in these SNPs, you're going to have a crazy high number. So we wanted to model uh, 11, which is 11 is East Central Euro, right? East Central Euro. East Central Euro. So source one was number 13, which is um, Eastern Euro. East Euro. Okay. Source two, number 14. And I remember it's Fenoscandian. Fenno. And source three, 32. Let's see. That's South Chinese, yes. South Chinese. No. Let's put that into target. Okay. So the distance, let me remove that. The distance is closest to Finoscandian, followed by Eastern Euro. It's actually very close to both Finoscandian and Eastern Euro. There's a slight, slightly closer to Finoscandian, and it's very distant from South Chinese. Uh, let's run it like this. It, gets, it pretty much gets modeled as a mixture of Finoscandian with Eastern Euro with nothing Chinese. That's what you can see from this. I'd make sure if you if you do uh, distance column to zero, it gets modeled at fifty four point two percent from Scandinavian, forty four point six percent Eastern European, and one point two percent South Chinese. So there is no South Chinese in the East Central European population. Okay. So I have the same in my program. I have the same, but with four way admixture. But let me show you what I've done with the five way admixture, because this one I'm really proud of. It's basically uh, it shows you like a distance map, it's, it's very cool, very, very cool. Let me show you. Um, file name k36.36.f, it's still the same file. Population to model, let's model, um, I don't even know, let's model, East, uh, let's model French, actually. Let's model French. And we're gonna use Iberian, we're gonna use North Sea, we're going to use North Atlantic. And just to throw things off, let's use like something crazy. I don't know. Uh, South Chinese and something also crazy like Pygmy, 28, Pygmy, Pygmy. Right. And you're going to see what this program is going to generate for us. Pretty magnificent, actually. Gorilla Mix. You know why I'm named it Gorilla Mix? It's because I love gorillas. I've been... Uh, looking at videos of gorillas, like spinning around and doing all kinds of cool shit. Gorillas are fascinating, man. Okay. So this is the chart that we generate. We see from target one to 
S1, S2, S3, they're all very similar. And S1 was Iberian, 24 was um, North Sea, 22 was North Atlantic. So they're all very similar. And 4 is 32, right? 32, where's 4? Okay, 4 is different. 4 is quite different. You see it's it's green for the most part, except to each other. To to itself, it's it's red, but to everybody else, it's green. So you see S1, S2, and S3, which are all Europeans, which are all around um, around French, around the French area, which are you know uh, Iberians. Um, what what else? North Sea. What else? North Atlantic. What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. They're very similar to French, but South Chinese are more different. And finally, 28 is pygmies. Pygmies are S5 and they're super different from everybody. That are uh, super, super different from everybody, basically. Uh, in fact, the South Chinese are closer to the French than the pygmies. Because you see the South Chinese S3 minus S4, S2 minus S4, S1 minus S4. These are all like green, like dark green. Whereas from pygmy to the French, it's all very light green. So pygmy are more distant from the French than South Chinese. But okay, now we can take this um, Vahaduo chords. We can plug them into Vahaduo because that's what you really want to see, right? It's admixture. You want to see some admixture. Okay, the, our target, our target was 15, which is French. So wait, target French. Our source one was 16, which is Iberian. Okay, our source two was 24, which is North Sea. Okay, our source three was 22, which is North Atlantic. And four was South Chinese and five was Pygmy. Pygmy. Okay, let's take the French. Let's put them in the target. Who are they closest to? And here you see the same thing basically as with, uh, you see the same thing as you've seen here, except the colors are reversed actually. In, mine, um, in my tool, the red signifies that you're closer and the, the green signifies that you're further. But here on Vahadu, it's the opposite. Here it's green versus blue. But, you know, you get the gist. So French are close to North Sea, North Atlantic, Iberian, and they're pretty distant from South Chinese and Pygmy. Um, and you can model them as North Sea, 42.8% North Sea, 42% North Atlantic, then 11% Iberian, 2% South Chinese, 1% Pygmy. But I think if I, re if I change the distance column to 1, yeah, if I change the distance column to 1, then that... Chinese and the pygmy disappears. So it's just 39% North Atlantic, 38.6% North Sea, and 22.4% Iberian. Um, so this was a little demonstration of how to use my Gorilla Mix, uh, my tool, which is kind of an alternative to Q, what is it? Um, QP Admixture or Admixture Tools or whatever David Reich has come up with in his Harvard lab. Uh, if you don't know, if you, have, if you can't figure out how to use David Reich's tools, you can use my tools. Uh, it's going to be in a GitHub in the description of this video. And in fact, on my channel in the about page, I'm going to put that there so that people can download uh, and find it through my channel without having to search for the video. Uh, if you like such video, if you like other videos with this topic, subscribe, uh, like the video, help me grow. Thank you.